create your own Sudoku puzzles like these in just a matter of minutes. Hi, I'm Julie, and I publish books with Kindle Direct Publishing on Amazon, and I help other people do the same. In today's video, I'm going to take you inside Book Bolt's Puzzle Wiz and show you how to make a Sudoku puzzle using Book Bolt and adding embellishments to it in Canva. And make sure you stay to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can get Book Bolt at a 20% discount. Let's check it out. There are lots of puzzle options here with Puzzle Wiz. So first, we're going to do this Sudoku. All right, so you're going to either pick bleed or no bleed. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave it as bleed. This will be the size of your um, book page. So I'm going to do the six by nine. You can also do an eight and a half by 11 or a five by eight. Um, you can pick if you want your paging to be double sided or single sided. I'm just going to pick single and I'm just going to do one page first. The more pages you do, the longer it will take to download um, or to create. So I'm just going to start with one and font. There are lots of fonts to choose from. Um, what I like to do is um, you can just pick different ones and it will show you an example over here. So, you know, that's the example. And I always want to pick one that is easy to read. So I wouldn't want one like that. This one to me looks pretty easy to read. So I'm just going to pick that font. Easy, difficult, very easy, normal, medium, hard. This is all the type for your puzzle um, for the Sudoku. I'm just going to do a normal one today. And then this is how big your puzzle. The nine by nine will be nine squares um, by nine squares, 16 by 16. I'm going to do that one today. Um, also over here, you'll see different options. And I like to include solutions. It will print it on a different page. Um, and then you can just some, change some things around. If you're going to do a lot of them, you may want page numbers. Um, I'm going to take off the puzzle index. OK, and then all you have to do is submit. And it will just take a few minutes for it to process. And you don't have to wait too terribly long, usually if you're just doing the one page. And you see it is done. And our document is ready. And now you have your puzzle. So this is the one that I created. You'll see there's a gap page. And then they randomly throw in the word solutions. And then here's the solutions page. What I usually do is just in my book, I will print this page and then I'll print the solutions page on the back side of it. And I'll just get rid of these all together. You're going to want to save it. So you're just going to click up here, save as, and make sure you name it something that you will be able to find. And then you can edit it. If you want to make your Sudoku puzzle look a little better on your pages, let's go over to Canva and you're going to click down here where it says import file. And then you're going to pick the file that you just created on um, your Sudoku puzzle and you're going to upload that um, into Canva as a PDF. And here it is the Sudoku test puzzle that I did. So I'm going to click on that for it to upload it. Okay, and here it is uploaded. If you want to leave feedback, feel free. Now, I want you to make sure, zoom in and make sure everything is still in line because sometimes when you upload things, things can go askew. Looks like all of this is still in line. Um, I know in the past I had had problems, so I'm just double checking that. And it looks like my zooming has gone crazy. All right, so it all looks like it's in line. Now, what I'm going to do is zoom back out a little bit. And I'm going to delete these extra pages unless for whatever reason you want to keep them. So I'm going to be deleting my extra pages like that. And then I want to try to add something to the page to make it look uh, just a little more fun. I'm going over to elements. Let's say you're doing this for kids or for adults. You know, that just kind of depends um, whatever you're making yours for. Always just never go wrong with flowers. 
So just for this purpose, I'm going to click on my flowers and show you. So I click the button, flowers are now on my page. Obviously I want to move them. So you're gonna to have to carefully select only the flowers and move them wherever you want them to be. Is a little too large. I make them a little smaller. And um, you can do this for whatever, if you're doing it for children, if you're doing it for adults, you know, whatever it is you want to make. You can also add some text. I don't know why my, my computer seems to be running kind of slow right now. Maybe it's time for a new computer. I'm going to twist this around a little bit. And then I'm going to click over here for some text and add just a few words. Um, so this is just showing you whatever you want to add to it. Click the fonts you want. All right. So this is, you know, the first one. And then You'll have that first page, and then this is your solutions page. If you want to write the word solutions, you can do that as well. Now, let's see. This is what I was afraid of. You see this page here, how the letters are just a little bit off? Let me see if I can click and move them down just a little bit. Because, you know, you want everything lined up just right. So it looks like I was able to do that. So you're going to have to check and double check and make sure that all this stuff is still lined up when you upload it. Um, that's just something to keep in mind. It looks like it's not going to be a horrible fix, but otherwise you could always just create your own Sudoku puzzles, but this is still going to save a lot of time if Sudoku is something you want to do. All right, so just spend your time moving these down a little. I think it's not going to be too difficult to do. So once you have that complete and you have it how you want it, you will click up here on the share button and that is where you will save it and as a PDF for print and you can create as many pages as you want. Um, in here you can upload others um, if you'd like to make more activity pages. I added some words. I have my picture and I created the problem. I mean, I fixed the problem that was uploaded where the numbers were not exactly right. I just adjusted the line pages. And if you click down here, grid view will allow you to see all of your pages in your document. And you can see um, it looks pretty nice. Sudoku puzzle and the word solution. So I would put this on one page and then probably this one on the page right behind it. So the solution, you know, would be on the back of the page of the puzzle. And you can create a whole workbook just like that. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it helps you realize how you can create workbooks with BookBold and use Canva as well to make your books look unique. Now, I promised you a discount. You can use code FUNFAMILY and get 20% off the BookBold subscription price. Also, if you want to check out Canva, there's a lot of features in Canva Pro that you may want to use free for 30 days. And to do that, all you have to do is click the link in this video description and you can get 30 days of Canva for free. If you want to see any of the other puzzle features in Book Vault's Puzzle Wiz, be sure to leave me a comment and I will make a video on that particular puzzle as well. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.